This video will demonstrate the steps taken to create simple cross-sections in RockWorks 15, displaying borehole or well data in two-dimensional strip logs. If you would like to create a strip log diagram in RockWorks, you should enter your data into the Borehole Manager database. In this example, we'll work with data stored in the Location, Stratigraphy, and PData tables. The Location table includes the borehole or well names and location information. Easting and northing values can be entered in UTM or state plane coordinates or in a local coordinate system that is in feet or meters. Top and base depths for stratigraphy units are displayed in the stratigraphy table like this. Downhole geophysical data is stored in the PData table and displayed in a spreadsheet format. To create a cross section displaying strip log information, go to Strip Logs, Multi Log Section. Here, You'll see a list of menu items on the left side of the screen, an instruction panel to the right of that, with the 2D strip log designer and the section selection map tabs to the right of that. I'll click on the 2D strip log designer to confirm the strip log settings in the project, and then on the section selection map tab. I'll use my mouse to choose a cross section line, and then click on the process button. The resulting window displays a hole-to-hole -hole cross section. The distances between the boreholes represent the true distances between the boreholes if they were displayed in a map in plan view. The elevations of the boreholes in the cross sections are based on the elevations entered into the borehole manager database. Now let's explore some of the other menu items in the menu tree on the far left side of the window. First, legends can be added to the diagram by enabling the legend or legends of interest. Once the legend is added to the cross section, it can be moved and resized with your mouse. Cross sections can be clipped based on an elevation range by enabling the clip option. You can add vertical exaggeration to a diagram and adjust the display of the cross-section titles and scale bars through the Perimeter Annotation dialog box. The spacing between logs can be changed to a fixed distance by expanding the Spacing Between Logs option and specifying a fixed distance. You can hang a diagram on a stratigraphy datum by enabling the Hang Section on Datum option and selecting a stratigraphic unit. Finally, for scaled cross sections, you can plot a surface profile representing the ground surface, groundwater elevation, or some other sort of subsurface feature. Thanks for watching.